We made it so that our tree displays properly and we have it so that we can select things and see the properties, if we had any properties. Uh, what we haven't done yet is make it so that we can add new things. We had to manually set up our, our tree and it would be nice if we actually had the action for adding an item implemented. So what needs to happen there? Well, first thing that needs to happen is we have to figure out which tab we're on because once again when you run this you have the ability to have multiple tabs but add item is in the menus and so it's, it kind of could work for any tab. So we're going to go ahead and start off and we're going to make a variable called current and we need to ask our tab pane like the tree it has a selection model and I'm going to go with the parentheses syntax that has a selected index and again the parentheses and so this current here is an integer it will be the index of the tab that is selected we expect this to be greater than or equal to zero if somehow it were less than that then we would have a problem okay uh, if it's greater than zero, then there's actually a tab selected and we can do something here. What do we need to do? Well, we need to get the drawing that we're supposed to add something to. So we have this right now, this list of drawings up here. And every time that we add something into uh, a tab, we also add something to our drawings. So we can go ahead and we can get our drawing by asking for drawings subcurrent and now we need to ask the user what type of thing they want to add so turns out there is a type called a choice dialog which is basically set up to be a simple little dialog box and so we can make one of these with new that gives the user the ability to select different possibilities. So for now, I'm just going to hard code into here the different possibilities that we have. Well, we'll probably want to fix that later, but for now, this works just fine. Rectangle, transform, and text. Those are the only drawable types that we have. Now we need to pop up that dialog box and wait for the user to select one of those options. So we can say dialog dot there is a show and wait which will sit there and that returns you might have noticed an option an option of string because we built this using strings. So I'm going to uh, match on that Actually, probably the ideal way to do this would be to do a for each. And I actually am not going to, this is probably the last thing I'm going to do. So how about we go ahead and do that? this with a for each. Uh, for each. And this is going to be, we'll call it our, we'll call our string S. Um, the advantage of the for each, so the for each works well if we don't need to do anything in the case where there was a none, which in this case we don't. If we had to do something in the case where there was a none, we'd want to use the match so that we could do something for both sum and none. In this case, we only want to do something for sum, so the for each is a better is a better fit for us. Okay, so now I need to figure out what type of drawable is uh, well, based upon this string, I need to build a, a new drawable, okay? Um, so I'm gonna call our drawable D here. I'm actually gonna put in that this is a drawable, that way Scala will do type checking for me, so if I screw something up in here, it'll fix it. And at least for the time being, I'm going to match on my string S. And once again, this is one of those places, I'm kind of hard coding this, there's, there's a part of me that doesn't like this approach, but 
but it's not like we currently have a much better solution to this. So we'll just have to figure out, you know, if we th come up with a better way of doing this in the future, we can change our code. And there are a number of things in this code that I don't like. I don't like the fact that this rectangle has to match that rectangle, has to match that rectangle. If I misspell any of them, the code still compiles, but I but it won't run. So I'm going to have some logic error that's going to take a while to, to figure out, etc. So I'm not real happy about this approach, but it's fairly easy to write and for for anyone to, to understand, and we can improve on it later on. Okay. So I've now made a drawable that corresponds to the text for, that the user chose from this option. And now I want to find out what item was selected in the tree. So I'll make a variable called tree select. And the reason is because you shouldn't just always be inserting at the top level of the tree. I should be able to stick something as a child of any transform or maybe as a sibling of something that's not a transform. So let's go ahead and let's get the selection model. Oh wait, we have a problem here, don't we? This tree view doesn't exist. Where is this tree view? And I can, I can finish what I'd kind of like to do here. I'd like to take the selection model, get its value, and then get the selected item, but, but I can't because I don't have the tree view. The tree view was created down inside of here and it never came out of here. All that we got back from this was a tab, okay, but I have my tree view down in here. Somehow I probably need to keep track of both my drawings and my, my tree views. So how about we make it so that this returns both a tab and a tree view. And so then down here we can say tab arrow, what was that, drawing tree. Okay, so that code is happy, but we use, oh sorry, tree view of drawable. Tree view has to have a type parameter in order to be happy. But we're using this code in two different places when we call it. And so I can't just add this to the tab pane now because I, I'm returning two things. So let's do this. Control X on that. We're going to make tab comma tree equal that. And then I can add the tab in. Um, I could do the same thing here. Tab comma tree. Add the tab. But I somehow need to keep hold of these trees in such a way that I can get them back out. And they're basically every drawing should have its own tree. So possibly up here for drawings, instead of making this just a list of drawing, perhaps it should be a list of both drawing and tree view. And tree view of drawable. Okay. So now when we're adding these things in here, well, I need to move this line down one so that when I add this into it, I can append that and the same thing will have to go here. I can't add to the drawings until I have hold of my tree. Interesting thing to note here, you might be worried that this tree and this tree interfere with each other because this tree here is in a smaller scope. Any reference to it inside of these curly braces refers to this one. Uh, outside of it would refer to this one. So if I were to use tree down here, it would be using this, one of the scoping rules of Scala. Okay, now when I pull things out of my drawing here, I can say drawing comma tree view, and then I have my tree view, and I can get the uh, get the selected item out of this. So actually I'd like to have this 
selected item dot value. I prefer this. There's a, the get methods are actually uh, Java FX methods instead of Scala FX methods. And instead of calling dot value, I believe I can do that. Yep, just do the apply. And now tree select is a tree item of drawable. And what I'd like to do, assuming that's not uh, null, because if nothing has been selected again, it's possible it's null. So if tree select is not equal to null, then I'd like to add it into the tree. And I'm going to assume that we have some method called tree add that will add this item D into the selection that's passed in. Now the reason why I'm going to use a method here is because I actually want to do a little bit more interesting um, logic in that we can only add as the child of, of a draw transform. Okay, And so if what I have is not a draw transform, I have to go up to its parent. Um, and so I have to get to something that I can add inside of. So we're going to write a little method here that helps with that. And it takes an item, which is a tree item of drawable. It's not going to give back anything because it's actually going to add. And what it's going to do is this a, do I need to, yep, needed to import tree item, is I have one case for a draw transform and another case for anything else. I'll just call it D because okay, that would just be some general drawable. Does my draw transform? It extends drawable. Hmm. We'll keep coding and we'll see if that warning winds up being of signal. Oh, oh, it's an object property. Okay, so I might actually need to, this will just be easier to go back down to um, item.get value. I prefer not to use those most of the time, but in this case it gives me what I want, which is the drawable itself. So if it's not a transform, well then it turns out that I want to call this add method, but I want to call it on the uh, parent of the current item. So on item dot get parent. And that's a method inside of the tree item. And that's part of why I'm passing in tree items and not drawables. We didn't make it so our drawables know about their parents, but the tree items do. That's just kind of built into them. Okay, if it is a draw transform, well, then we have written a method for add child. We're going to add that item D. Uh, the item that we have. we can add a new child to it. And at this point, we've also changed our drawing, so we'll need to force it to redraw itself. We can make that happy by stubbing out inside of here def draw. not going to do anything yet. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and put it to do. Otherwise, when we ran that, it would crash. Okay. Let's try this. So we run our program. We select an item. We say add drawable. It pops up this. I'm going to actually add a transform under there. And another transform pops up. Let's say I pick a rectangle. Add and I'm going to add text which should add a text down there because it had to go to the parent because it can't add something under the rectangle and then it adds the text just for funsies let's go ahead and let's add a rectangle under that transform and you can see how that works so now we have added 
the code that allows us to put things into our tree. We have more drawables. Unfortunately, they don't draw uh, and they don't yet have properties yet either. We need to come back and we need to add that functionality still.